What's happening, people? I hope you're well. Live and direct from New York. Still out here. It's the afternoon. Uh, it's a nice day outside. A few days after the fight, we have had time to reflect, think about certain things. Losing isn't in anyone's nature, whether you're playing chess, PlayStation, or competing at a high level in sport or in business. And I took my first loss. How to explain that feeling? It's happened to me before, but I feel like those times I lost years back have made me a stronger person and it hasn't really changed me and my work ethic, my mindset and what I stand for. Um, the people I'm still loyal to, my trainer Robert McCracken, um, my amateur coach at Finch ABC, I'm still going to work with these guys, they're still going to teach me everything I need to know. They've done a great job for me not only inside the boxing ring but mainly as a human. They really developed me as a person which is important. Um, these guys have been with me for years, my whole management team and to my supporters as well. I'm not going to change on you and that's any different and change my ways. I'm still me, I'm still the same old Anthony Joshua. I'm not speaking in third person, but I'm still the same old Anthony Joshua. The same motivation and trying to better myself through boxing. So about the fight, look, the whole training camp team pulled together and done a great job. I started my camp off in Sheffield, which I normally do anyway. Was working there for about six weeks, seven weeks, cracking on come to New York, continue my press tour. There was a lot of issues going on with this uh, fight with Jerome Miller, um, Ortiz pulling out, Ruiz stepping in. But it all makes for the drama show, the entertainment of heavyweight boxing. Um, so I travelled here, I've done my press conference, and then I've gone to Miami, where the setup was spot on. You know, I didn't go out, I just went for lunch one day, out in the open. Other, other days I had the uh, chef in-house was, was cooking, eating in-house and so on. So no contaminated food. Um, I know there's a lot of like, accusations and worries about what was wrong with me. But I want to tell you this. Um, I'm a soldier and I have to take my ups and my downs. And on Saturday, I took a loss and I have to take it like a man. And that's why one of my sayings is never let success get to your head. And never let your failures get to your heart. It's all about keeping a balance and moving forward. And that's the mindset that I have to keep. It's tough. You know, when you lose sometimes, you know, it feels like it rips away a part of you. But for me, as I said, I'm never going to switch up and change on anyone. I'm still the same me, still ambitious. And I'm still going to walk on my head held high like a champion because boxing is a part of my life and I'm a champion at heart. And I apply that and adapt that in the ring. Um, congratulations to Andy Ruiz. He has six months or so to be champion because the belt's going in the air and he's going to have to defend his title against myself. Within our contract when we were negotiating, we added some clauses, as you do. So naturally, we uh, added like a rematch clause, uh, date, location, and so on. So I would not mind if it was in New York again. I wouldn't mind if it was in... England, I feel like, as I said, I'm stopping off in New York and I'm going to come back home as well, so I'd love it to be in England as well. But New York, man, they opened their arms for me and my whole team and it was phenomenal. You know, Madison Square Garden, even though it didn't go my way, what an undercard, the history that was created. I'm still speechless, like, it was, a, it was, a, it was an amazing night. It was an amazing night altogether. You know, from the changing room, was in a niche changing room space, warmed up really well. I had no panic attack, like, I'm not that type of person, you know me. And that's why I say, and I'm gonna keep on saying, is that I have to take my loss like a man. No blaming anyone, no blaming anything. I'm the one who went in there to perform, and my performance didn't go to plan. My game plan didn't go to plan, so I have to kind of readjust, analyze, do my best to correct it, and uh, get the job done in the rematch.